Hello, welcome back to another video. So today is something a little bit different. I am taking you bouldering with me and I decided to film a little bouldering guide for beginners. Now, I can only do a bouldering guide for beginners because I am a beginner, so I can't go any higher than that stage. Um, but I'm gonna take you with me today and just, I guess it will be partly to do with like the confidence of actually stepping into a climbing center, showing you what it's like, but then also some tips and tricks for when you're actually climbing. So let's go. Flying low under the radar. Okay, so I've been here 15 minutes and I am sweating a lot. Yeah, I do not feel like I'm doing a workout because it's just so much fun. It's like a mind and body workout, and I'm gonna show you now what we are doing. Like a night hawk stealth plane, you are. Hiding out in the shadows, keeping from the light of day. Nobody should ever have to live that way. So bouldering tip number one is just to show up. I know that sounds really simple, but obviously these kind of places can be quite daunting, but everyone here is so, so nice. And even though Matt and I came together the first time, like he's been coming back loads, like I would happily come on my own. Um, yeah, it's just such a nice place to be. And obviously um, the arch in Burnt Oak is actually a little bit quieter than a few of the others, which is always nice, because then you don't have to wait for routes. You can just kind of like jump on whenever you're ready. So bouldering tip number two is, shoes and whether or not you need them or anything every bouldering place will have shoes that you can rent i recommend having a pair of socks because obviously a lot of other people have been wearing them i bought my own just because i absolutely loved it and i really really knew that i would be coming back but these did cost me i think about 70 pounds and i it took me a while to find the right ones because there's lots of different ones so make sure you ask advice i would recommend not buying your bouldering shoes online as a beginner i would recommend going into a center and getting some advice from someone sorry you can see i'm sweating i'm like mid climb <laughs> okay so tip three is less of a tip more of a warning you ladies <laughs> Don't expect your hands or nails to be in a good state after you have been bouldering. No point painting them, they're gonna be ruined. It's fine because it's enjoyable. Under the radar Like a night hawk stealth plane you are So tip four I'm gonna show you with the help of my brother Matt whilst climbing. So you see the yellow route that he's doing, but he's also using these white bits, these volumes. So use the wall and use the volumes, so you don't just have to stick to the color. Good, good note. Yes, Matt. Nice. Okay, so I can't actually remember what tip we're on. I think it's tip six. Anyway, um, tip six, or whatever number it may be, is to, oh, what is tip six? I've forgotten what I was gonna say to you. Oh, plan it out in your mind first or ask someone for some help. So if you look at the route and then you can kind of have a, like a little figure, like, da like a little dance, like a sequence where you're like, okay, right foot would go there, left hand could go there. And then if you still can't figure it out, just ask someone. Hiding out in the shadows, keeping from the light of day. No. So tip number seven is to use your feet and your heels. Um, as you can see, I sadly failed that blue, but Matt very much did it, and he had to use his heels to kind of get him up there, so it's a very, very good tip. Okay, and my last, final tip is, I mentioned this in one of my others, but to ask people for help. So if you see someone doing a, doing a route that you're really, really keen to try, but you're a little bit like, oh, I just can't figure it out, then just go up to them and be like, hi, I don't suppose you give me some tips for that route. Because everybody, especially at the Arch, they're so, so kind and so lovely. And like, Matt's been going like for quite a while um, and he kind of like says hi to everyone. It's really annoying actually, when we first uh, started going, I was better than him. 
but because this isn't anywhere near where I live and there isn't a good one near where I live, he's like past me <laughs> and it's so much better. But it's fine, it's not about who's best, it's just about having fun. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope you, you found this uh, interesting. If you have any questions about bouldering, as long as it's like beginner level stuff, then I will indeed answer your questions. So comment below, make sure you subscribe because I am gonna be creating a video with someone very, very exciting in the bouldering world and climbing world soon. So yeah, stay tuned to my channel.